what's up beautiful people this is your girl mommy so true welcome to my channel if you're new if you are already a subscriber hello to you it's a new day and i'm here with another video you guys i'm your girl mommy so true i am a thriver and survivor of narcissistic abuse i'm also a life coach here to help you heal thrive and go through your recovery journey also have a chance for you to reach out to me and join my texting list where I can communicate you here and there and send you some encouragement throughout the week to help you along your journey. You guys, I cannot chat long with you through text. I cannot take calls throughout the day through text messaging. Please check out my booking options. All the links are in the description box below. You guys, I'm going to get into today's video because there's something so juicy on my heart and I have been marinating on this for a while because the biggest thing about mommy so true in my channel is i am true i talk the truth and i am not sitting here just mad and you know going off about something because of some pain or because of something that i went through because somebody did me wrong and walked out of me i'm i'm past that this channel is my testimony my stories and the knowledge of what you're dealing with because so many people are going through exactly what I experienced and I'm using my experience and what I know is a fact to back up what I sit here and tell you. So today we are talking about how the new supply is the new narcissist. This may not apply to everyone in their situation. So automatically you heard the title, you saw the title and you know it doesn't apply to your situation. Do not judge and do not come for people in these comments because if it's not for you and if it's not for you and if it's not for you, it's just not for you, okay? You guys, I would never sit here and try to act like being walked out on, being left for somebody else, it's okay or it feels good and I'm just so over it. To a certain extent, that sting will always be there because I know what I was putting in on my end. It's not because of being jealous of a new person or wishing it was me because God knows I am glad it's not me, baby, have it. <laughs> but it's just the fact that when you devote your life, your heart, your love, your time, your energy, you know, everything good about you into a relationship, a love that you thought was meant to be, a love that you thought was going to last, to have it ripped away from you after maybe holding on for a long time, a lot of you waited for a narcissist to maybe marry you or maybe finally take that step further in your relationship you stuck around for years you you know you had children and they still did not marry you and then boom one day woke up married somebody else and left you and the kids you know some of you are dealing with situations where maybe you didn't wait maybe y'all got together things were fast things were great at first you know you went through the love bombing phase and then all of a sudden you find out about this new person and that just changed the whole relationship. Your heart dropped, your life stopped, the disappointment, the shame, the guilt, the embarrassment of it is just so real as a man or as a woman. It's so real, it's so heartbreaking. And then in my situation, the ex-spouse had a child with this person and then also in my situation the new supply really was not a new person she was someone he dated right before me and um she knew that he had moved on and got married and still decided to pursue a relationship with him and determined to destroy his marriage determined to get him home she went as far as to doing voodoo activity got into witchcraft she took um prenatal pills and she enhanced her fertility and planned her pregnancy with him and set him into a trap and even in, and it and it it even blew and shocked and surprised the heck out of him because he didn't plan that he thought he was going to live two lives you know every time he got mad he would sneak off because at that point he had a wife and a mistress type of situation going on um but the interesting thing about my dynamic and in my situation is 
he had his younger sister living with me in our marriage. And fortunately for me, the younger sister and him had a very rough relationship because he's a narcissist. Nobody in his family likes him. If you're dealing with a true narcissist, nobody freaking likes them. Even if they're pretending to like them, they really actually don't like him. So my sister-in-law told me things because she played both sides. She was a teenager. You know, she ain't, she don't really know better. And she's, she's messy because she comes from a messy ass family. So I understood all of that and I knew all that all and I knew all of that and I used all of that to my greatest advantage because I needed to know what was going on and I needed to know how to make sure that I would have the upper hand in the situation and walk away feeling powerful and feeling like I did nothing wrong. I know I did nothing wrong, knowing that I did not deserve this to happen to me and also knowing and understanding that it was meant for it to happen to me because God knew that it would it was going to take for another woman to come take my man and claim my man. This woman was claiming him as her husband on her social media page even before I married him. He knew that. And he still married me. He knew that there was someone in the back, somewhere behind the scenes, obsessed with him. Okay? And to me, now looking back, knowing what I know about narcissism and what I know about a narcissist and what I know about narcissistic personality disorder, I can tell you right now that there is something happening in the world. There is something happening to the narcissist of this generation. These narcs are walking in their karma. These narcs who are leaving you for another man or for another woman, they're walking in their karma. They're walking into a life with another narcissist. This woman love bombed him. As much as the narcissist think they're so smart, they busy love bombing you and they doing you this and they doing you that. If you got a new supply, or some kind of supply that's there that he ends up with or that she ends up with. And they feel like they got it together. They're, they're acting like they're the ones who know how to handle this man or this woman. They're acting like, oh, they just took something from you because you didn't know how to handle it. You're not qualified and they are. They are narking. They are narking on that door of that narcissist because they are sent from the pits of hell, just like the narcissist was sent from the pits of hell. And that narcissist is going to eat their karma by messing with this new narcissist. This new supply that they are going to run off and marry, this is going to be their hell. This is going to be their hell. This person is pretending to love the shit out of the narcissist. That's why the narcissist has so much ammo to turn around and do you so dirty. That's why the narcissist has so much ammo to drive to another state, relocate and marry this new trifling person. I wanted to cuss, but I had to really think about it. <laughs> no, but for real, you guys, a narcissist is never going to encounter the love relationship that they are pursuing in their life. This is their karma. I'm going to make sure that you guys understand how bad karma exists for a narcissist. Y'all so worried about seeing it. I be seeing people, you know, on TikTok, on Instagram, on Facebook. Well, you know, I've never seen it. It's been 20 years and I still don't see the karma. What do you, first of all, first of all, why are you sitting around trying to see it? Why are you not focused on your own life? Because if you focused on you, you ain't going to be worried about trying to see them go through any kind of karma. Second of all, who told you that the karma has to be seen? Because what you're not recognizing is a narcissist is a whole, <laughs> is a whole actor, actress. Okay. They are somewhere pretending their ass off to be in love with somebody new. They are not in love. And the person that they're pretending to be in love with is pretending to be in love with them right back. The new supplier may not know what a narcissist is called. But if a new supplier intentionally broke your home 
if a new supply knew you was still married to a narcissist and still tried to get them or took them or whatever you want to call it, or if a new supply came up and just thought that, you know, they are the narc's soulmate. Yeah, they right. They are. This is, this is the, this is a match made in hell. They are perfect for each other. This is a million times worse than the empath and the narcissist. A narcissist and another narcissist equals a lifetime of hell, a lifetime of curses, a lifetime of generational strife, misery, stress. I don't care how much money these people be having. See, what y'all don't understand is karma has nothing to do with status, money, none of that. A person can have a trillion dollars and still be super suicidal, super hateful, super miserable inside. That is a narcissist. And when a narcissist has led somebody on, made them believe that they were going to have a future with them, had children with them, and even lived with the children to a certain extent, and then one day woke up and said, I don't want my family no more. I want to do it with another person. As twisted and as wicked as it sounds and feel for you, the person who's getting left, that's just as twisted and it is going to be in the reflection of the karma for the narcissist and the person that they're running off with. Their life is going to be held together. These people always end up clashing, a household full of arguments. Never is there peace. And the thing is, they make it look happy and perfect because they have to everybody knows what they did to you so they better make sure they keep it looking good so they better make sure they keep it looking good they better make sure it looked like it was worth leaving that man make sure it was worth that man walking away from four or five children and leaving a woman to raise them on her own the best part about it is those of you that have children and have to co-parent with the narcissist, listen to your children. If they're old enough or as they get old enough, they're going to start snitching and telling you what's really going on in the house with those two narcs. They in there narking each other. They in there beating each other up. They in there cheating on each other. They in there passing STDs back and forth. One of them is coverted. One of them is malignant or both are just the same. And they in there just tag teaming, hurting each other, bullying each other, bullying each other's children, abandoning their children. If you go to their home, you will see that there is no love in the home of the new supply and the narcissist because the new supply is somewhere trying to force themselves to be this stepmom or stepdad. The narcissist is forcing their children to call this new supply mom and dad, forcing this on them. It's already an awkward, weird situation. To be considered a new supply, you need you are the person who literally knowingly allowed someone, this someone is the narcissist. You allowed this narcissist to abruptly leave the situation that they were in to come and be with you. Because as a narcan new supply, you saw how weak the narcissist is. That's why I said the new supply is the new narcissist. This new supply saw that the narcissist was weak because the narcissist was running and telling them all this stuff about your relationship with them. Oh, she don't take care of me. She doesn't do this for me. New supply is listening to all of this whining and all of this crying and they taking notes. They like, oh, OK. I know what this man needs. I know what this woman needs. So then they start love bombing the hell out of that narcissist. This narcissist thinks that they have met a better match than you. They're getting a better supply than you because this person is giving them everything that they believe the narcissist is looking for. So the narcissist takes it, runs with it, leaves you and your kids go, go start this whole new life. They think they happy. They think they happy. They, they think they living. They think, man, this is the best decision I ever made. I left, I left my old girl for this one. I left my old wife. We still married, but I'm going to have her wear a ring. Even though we're still married, I'm going to have her wear a ring around the city and show off. And the new supply is okay with it, loving it, sitting back, enjoying it, 
loving it. Even through the abuse, the new supply is loving it. Loving it. Loving it. Because they're also sick. They're just as sick as the narcissist. Anybody in their right mind, anybody with any kind of kind of common sense, any kind of godliness would know damn well that as soon as they smell that someone is taken, they need to turn around and run and never look back. I'm talking about a sick person who knowingly knows that someone is trying to be a family man or a family woman and still plans to attack their life by acting like they're so in love with them that they can they can be better for them. They can be the one for them. They they are the one. And they are so determined to convince this narcissist to leave their home. And they do. They do. Eventually, they are successful by love bombing the narcissist. And the narcissist is also love bombing them. I'm telling you, they narc each other. They take each other through them same vicious phases. That's why they sitting somewhere looking happy and acting happy. Because they narking each other. And when I say they're love bombing each other and they're narking each other, the new supply goes hard to lock in with the narc. That's why I say the new supply is the narcissist because they do exactly the same thing to each other. They do exactly what the narcissist did to you. They're doing to the narcissist. The new supply is willing to give all their money. They're willing to give and use their credit because they know that you probably did that. The narcissist told them everything you gave, everything you sacrificed, everything you put in your name. The new supply is narcissistic because he or she becomes competitive when they hear that. They're like, oh, okay. She gave you 25,000, I'm gonna give you 50. Oh, okay. She used to give you her paychecks. I'm gonna give you my paychecks and my tax return. The new supply is more than willing to be a doormat to the narcissist purposely because the new supply has ill intentions. The new supply thinks that once they get the narcissist to fall in love, they're gonna get what they deserve. They're gonna, they're gonna be rewarded. They think that they got the narcissist under control. They think that their love is powerful and enough to lock the narcissist in in a way that you could not lock the narcissist in. This is why the new supply is the new narcissist. And that's why in the end, when they end up clashing, they clash bad because the narcissist starts to see that the new supply <laughs> is a horrible mom. It's a horrible dad. The new supply is nothing compared to you. The new supply doesn't actually love their children like you did. The new supply don't even know how to take care of the kids like you did. They don't even know how to cook and clean. They're not even trying to. They're not even willing to learn. The new supply may be lazy and dirty as heck. I'm speaking from experience. I know what I'm talking about and I'm standing on it. The new supply is a major downgrade, roach infested type of person. <laughs> the new supply is that 1999 Honda. And they know that you're a Bentley and that's why they don't like you and that's why they attack you. They come together with the narcissist. So many people get attacked by the new supply. They, they get stalked by the new supply because the new supply is the new narcissist. The new supply comes with ill intentions. The new supply comes with nothing good, nothing good about them, nothing good about their past. All their ex relationships, horrible, toxic, ended up in the same, same type of scenario, same type of issues. They probably were in a in a relationship where they abused the hell out of somebody, but now they're sitting there acting like they were a victim, just like the narcissist. It never ends well. It's never going to end well because we talking about two demons in one household. We talking about two evil entities trying to live and be successful. While you and your kids are somewhere homeless and starving though, right? They gonna be successful. And if you believe that, you sick too. 
I'm going to need people to stop feeling pity for these narcs. Stop feeling pity for these new supplies and making all these excuses. The new supply they didn't know. And the new supply this and the new supply that. Listen, a new supply usually knows about you. A new supply usually knows about you because a narcissist has diarrhea mouth. They run their mouth. They talk about themselves all the time. And they are going to trap the new supply by letting them know how shitty their relationship with you is. So they know that you exist. They may think that you are just not a good woman or a good man for the narcissist. They may think that even though they probably know it's not true because the new supply is really jealous of you. Once they know that you exist, they start looking at your life. They start watching you. They start trying to be like you, look like you, dress like you. They may start getting their nails done like you. If that is not the most narcissistic thing, like how could I not call you a narcissist? Not only did you intentionally break a home, you're enjoying what you're doing. It's making you happy knowing that you broke someone else down. But the fact of the matter is, the new supply is the new narcissist because the new supply ain't shit either. And in more debt in my situation, the narcissist has so much diarrhea mouth and could not help his impulsive behavior and always told on himself that he always told the truth about <laughs> this person and how he felt about her and, and her living situation. So I know it's a huge downgrade for him. So for me, it's just like, I can't do, I can't feel nothing but victorious about my situation in regards to a new supply because I see that God allowed it to happen so I could be free and I'm so thankful for it. Because the new supply is the new narcissist, y'all. The new supply entrapped the narcissist with their pity stories, just like the narcissist did with us. The narcissist broke down and felt like they fell in love with the new supply because they felt like the new supply needed them. But the new supply has the same malignant, harmful, violent, aggressive behaviors, the same cheating tendencies. The new supply is still extremely envious of others and now has to spend the rest of their life listening to the narcissist reminisce about you because you have so many great memories. You have done so much for that narcissist that he will never forget. She will never forget. And every now and then you come up in their narcissistic ass relationship. Every now and then, believe it or not, you're an argument. The new supply is just as hyperly sensitive to criticism as the freaking narcissist. The new supply needs excessive praise and validation, just like the freaking narcissist. And they do it for each other. The new supply takes everything personal. The new supply abuses their power. They think they are powerful. They think they're more powerful than you. The new supply don't even believe in God and does not even pray or pray for the narcissist like you did and will never be able to because they have no godliness whatsoever, just like the freaking narcissist. The new supply also abuses and discards people. They don't even take care of their own damn kids. The new supply has no conscience like the freaking narcissist. The new supply has many enemies like the freaking narcissist. Don't nobody like them. You acting antisocial. Nah, you not antisocial. Nobody likes you. The new supply is severely and highly insecure like the narcissist. And this is why they look like a match made in heaven. But really, they are a match sent from hell. The main reason why the new supply is the new narcissist, you guys, is because the new supply also came to kill, steal, and destroy. And it started when they destroyed your home. It started when the narcissist actually picked up and walked out of your home and left you and your kids to go and be a mom or a dad to their kids. It started when they started sleeping with your wife and sleeping with your husband. And because of that, because their intention was wrong and evil, because this person did break your home and allowed the devil to use them in that way, the new supply and the narcissist now become each other's karma because now they're both cursed. 
because now by default, everything they touch will turn into dust. Because now, by default, the way that they've left you stranded, the way they've left your kids, nothing that they do in life will succeed or prosper. The new supply is the new narcissist because they may be the one that actually kills the narcissist or the narcissist may end up killing the new supply. Everything the narcissist intended to happen to you is going to happen to them with the new supply. The new supply is the narcissist karma. Now that the new supply and the narcissist are walking down the yellow brick road off to this fancy life, you know, taking these vacations, spending this money, showing off this beautiful, loving, romantic life all over social media, whatever. Now that they got this life going on, the end result for both of them is going to be death. The new supply is the reason why the narcissist may end up dead and gone. And you guys, this is your girl, Mommy So True. I just had to come check in with you and let you know why the new supply is the new narcissist. Make sure you share your experience, share your story, like, comment, and subscribe. And you guys know I'll be back next time with another video. Look forward to hearing from you. Text me, hit me up on social media, or better yet, book a life coach session. Let's thrive. Let's get it. Let's keep surviving. We are warriors and we are never going to stop. Whether there's a new supply or not, they're not winning. You already won. A new supply had to come so you could be free. I'm telling you why the new supply comes, y'all. A new supply, old supply, whatever supply this narcissist now goes and get their validation from, their affirmation from, their money from, whatever. They came to do you a favor. Take that and run with it. Don't you look back. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I'm right here with you, you guys. It's mommy so true. I love y'all. Take care.